Alrighty, here's a Bristol 5 ton compressor, single phase, 230 volts that I'm going to cut up. They were, uh, they were really good compressors. I never really had any problems with them, but uh, we're going to cut this one up and see what happened. It's all opened up. It's uh, pretty clean. This hole here is for the, the uh, motor mount. See the motor mount, and the, that's the top of the the compressor, if you ever have a broken motor mount, this will roll up against the side and knock. I don't know if anybody's ever heard that before, but the suction gas goes in here. So this, this would be considered the, uh, the suction side. So some of the um, refrigerant drops in the bottom keep the windings cool because you've got windings here, you got windings down at the bottom, and then it gets sucked through this dome. This is your intake coming down. This is your uh, exhaust pressure relief. So I get this dome off here. Take a look inside, but it's uh, really clean. No rust, no moisture. We're gonna cut this up. It might get a little bit ugly here. All right, let me get after it here. You're looking at the uh, bottom of the shell. You can see the oils down at the bottom. And this is the discharge that comes out of the compressor. And that runs in the oil to keep the oil warm to help uh, with the liquid migration back to the compressor and the crankcase heater. I don't know if you can see it there. But these are the wires for the crankcase heater. And there's the uh, pump and the electric motor. Here's the windings so the, the suction gas has to come in. And this is this is the low side. Everything's the low side. Except for the discharge right here. So here's your suction tubes going back into the uh, compressor. One last look before I uh, take it completely apart, but the, uh, like I said before, the gas comes in, goes into this motor cap, which helps with sound too. So uh, the gas comes in through this hole. Some of it drops and helps cools it cools the windings on the bottom, and then it comes down these tubes here. This is your suction coming down. Then your valves are going to be down in this area right here. All right, I have the uh, motor cap off, and then you can, hopefully you can see this. If the light's right. That's the overload for the motor. It's tucked up inside. Basically, you could you could run the the compressor like this, but it'd be it would be a lot noisier without the uh, cap on. Acoustically, this, this helps it with sound. But this motor here is definitely, it was diagnosed right, it, it's locked. I think it's got a lot of liquid, so I gotta, I still gotta do some teardown on this and see what happened. Got old Trusty helping out right now. Yellow Makita, still working. Okay, here's our problem. We have broken valves, broken valves, those things are tweaked. This is how I found it. Here's the other one down here. This is a five ton compressor, but it actually only had the duct system of a two and a half ton. So I know it's been running liquid back for a long time. So those things are hammered. That one. This is what happens when you're running liquid refrigerant back. Okay. All right. Oops. Uh, 
Hello. Okay. Broken valve. Now, now it's turning. I got one hand. I apologize. That's a lot better now. But it was locked up. All right, let's see if I can get those pistons out and see what those look like. Here's some of the uh, pieces, the, the pistons, and you can see they uh, they show signs of uh, wear. This this one's not too bad, but this this one's not too bad. But uh, this one over here, on the top of the tops, the tops are just been uh, really pitted, hammered because the Valves broke due to liquid refrigerant, refrigerant coming back to the compressor. Look at the, look how scores the piston walls are. These are rough, like sandpaper. The top is hammered. Just look at the, uh, the valve plates again. Pretty bad, the crank. Just another look at the overload. Then the, here's the uh, where the pistons went. You can see how it's really scored the walls, cylinder walls here. But this one's pretty hammered right here. Pay no attention to this. I did that with the hammer, but uh, yeah, pretty bad shape. That's what happens. We get a liquid coming back to the compressor. Even the bearing in the inside's in really bad shape. Scored. So your suction gas comes in through here, this side too, these two sides the suction gas comes in, goes between the, uh, the plate here, then comes up through these holes. You see where the debris really scratched this up here, really hammered the top of this. And this is your, your discharge valves, they, they, they uh, open up on compression. And then the, the discharge is coming out here through the discharge muffler, then out. Discharge line of the compressor.